All right, so I just scanned in front of this ditch right here that runs into the other lake. And uh, <clears throat> there was some fish sitting right on the mouth of it. So now we're gonna make a few casts and see if we can get one of these dudes to bite. I really would like to catch him jerking. Stop. Well, he was never coming off. Little guy, I'm going to back up just a touch because I, the reason why I'm going to back up is like when I first side scanned, they were in the mouth of this, uh, but I've also, while sitting here, uh, I've seen some other fish on, on the sides here, so I'm going to back up a little bit. They might not be like super concentrated right in the front because there's not much wind blowing through here. Ooh, I just had one hit that. So, I'm gonna back up a little bit. And fish more of this area, not so much concentrated on the mouth. Pretty good. There he is. I knew there was some fish over there too. Man, that dude's angry. So that's why I backed up a little bit because when I was sitting just over there, I could see some other fish swimming around. Decent little dude. <clears throat> so like I said, when I I was a little bit closer and when I was sitting there, I could see fish left and right of me. They weren't like all super concentrated like they were last weekend on the mouth of that. But there was four or five fish there when I did drive by. The mouth of it. But because there's not a ton of wind right here, I uh, I would imagine they're not super concentrated in that mouth because of that. Now, like it was last week when the wind was blowing through here, they're all one little spot. There he is. Oh man, he smoked that thing too. A little bit better one. Love triple grips. Best treble hook in my opinion. He's a decent dude on the scope stick. Man, he smoked that thing, dude.
Paris. And he's got that thing sideways. That's how you want him to eat it. Oh, fat dude. So I would imagine it's going to be pretty tough, but those north sunny windy days when it's cold out is when I've caught my biggest fish. So hopefully uh, we can run into a real big one. They seem to be eating it on the paws too, which is one of my favorite ways to catch them when they're on a jerk bait because it feels like a jig bite. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, see, I just missed another one right there. And that, my line, dunk. So I just missed one right here. And he ate it on the, on the paws. So when you throw on a jerk bait, you know, the traditional way is to actually jerk it. You don't want to move the jerk bait with the reel, just the rod. So when you're reeling your slack, you're just reeling in the slack. There he is. Hopefully I can slow that down where you can see uh, my line jump. But just like that. And I usually start with like a, a jerk jerk pause or something like that. You know, kind of keep the same cadence until you get a bite. And if you're not getting a bite, start to change that cadence. I'm just really surprised that they're not concentrated yet. I mean, they're definitely all in this area, but I would have really thought that they would kind of all move back into that little mouth of that ditch. Like they were last weekend, because the wind was blowing through here. I may uh, get on the other side of this ditch, kind of see um, if they're on the other side. over here to the right see them right here all the shadows those kind of look more like crappie but let's yeah if I had to guess those are all mainly crappie with them being that tight like that you know grouped together There he is. And come off. Alright, I see some fish. Right about there. On side image.
There it is. That's a decent one. Talk about eight. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna need the pliers on that one. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a couple of them over on side image. If I see them again, I'll I'll show the camera. Feels like a better fish. It is too. That's a better one. Decent one, pushing two pounds. Nice, a pretty one too. You smoked that jerk, that uh, jerk bait. <clears throat> so as you can tell, I've I've switched angles. I went and fished around behind me, the other side of this channel. And uh, I didn't get any bites, didn't see a lot of, a lot of fish. So I was coming back through here. <clears throat> but I really wanted to uh, kind of slowly make my way back out to that. And uh, I was dragging the jig around. I picked up this jerk bait again. And... I like fishing into the wind because the fish are facing into the wind and uh, so when you work your lure back you're working it towards the fish and uh, not going with them you know what I mean so I'm gonna sit here and see if I can get a couple more that was a decent one I really would like to catch a real big one. There's another decent one. That's the biggest one so far. Ugh, now I'm caught. Yeah, it's about the same size as that last one. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Get hooked again. Same exact spot too. Maybe we've got a bigger size fish that rolled up in here. We'll see. Okay, so that's that's two better than average size ones on the same exact cast, right in the mouth of this. So I cast it out. Usually get a couple cranks down. Jerk, jerk, pause. Jerk. Jerk, jerk, pause. And I'm watching my line because they've been eating it on the on the pause. There he is. Good 
really need to move this cord from my battery. I keep getting it caught in my rod when I'm flipping these fish in. He's an angry one. Decent little guy. There we go. Alright, so that's three off of that, that same spot here. Let's see if we can go for a fourth one. So again, I cast out, reel down, jerk, jerk, pause. When I reel the slack in, I'm only, the, just the slack. Don't move the jerk bait with the, with the reel. Uh, I'll throw in some upper twitches. It changes the the movement of the jerk bait, so it's not the same. There, ooh, I just had a bite. Hopefully, I can slow that down. You'll see my line jump. There he is. Paying. That's what I love about triple grips. All right, so it seems like there's some more fish that have moved up into the mouth of this with that wind blowing through. All right, so cast it out, reel, jerk, jerk, pause. Like I was saying, don't move the jerk bait with your reel when you. Reeling up the slack. Just want to do it with the rod. There he is. Oh, they're really fired up now. See, when I first pulled up this morning, the wind hadn't really blown through here yet. And I was catching them like you saw are out in the flat there. And uh, they're kind of spread out, but it seems like they're kind of concentrated again. Let's see how many we can catch. There he is. Oh yeah, they're schooled up now. So I tied on a different jerk bait on my second jerk bait rod. Uh, I kind of wanted to see, you know, if one will catch fish better than the other. But it's it's floating a little bit in this water temperature. And I want it to really sit still. So I'm going to put some lead wire on the front treble hook, and we're going to see. We can get this dude in 49 degree water to suspend perfectly. And there's no like specific way you gotta, I'm just wrapping it around however way. It doesn't matter. I used to be big on the suspend strips, but sometimes, and, and they work great, they do, but sometimes it's too much or you get a rip one and a half. I can definitely do this a little bit better. My fingers aren't cold and my I got wool gloves on. But and then you just kind of mold it, the lead to it. There we go. You can see it right there. Suspending perfectly. 
Usually I'd put a little dab of super glue on the ends, keep it there, but it's not a big deal. I can, if it starts to come off, I'll retwist it and I'll add some super glue. Usually it stays on there really good, but I like it because you can pull it right off real easy. The suspend dots sometimes get like really stuck on there or they just fall right off. So with the lead wire, you can add more, take some off. It's real, real easy. <clears throat> the fatty that's a pretty one definitely not grouped up like they were <clears throat> but there's still some around floating out here. It's interesting that they'll only eat this one jerk bait. I've only, you know, I've thrown three different jerk baits. Thrown the Kredge and a bunch of other baits and they just this seems to be the only thing they'll eat. There he is. He's a fat one. <clears throat> Short fat dude. Whee.
guy. 